I can open up my criteria and fit more patients with Widex hearing aids. Hey guys, it's Matthew here from Hearing Tracker, keeping you up to date with all new hearing aid technology. Today, we're talking sheer perfection. Well, according to Widex at least, in this video, I'm covering Widex's recent launch of the Widex Moment Shear hearing aids. If you're keen on keeping up to date with the latest news in the hearing technology world, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel, press that gray notifications bell, and you'll be updated every time we release a new video. Widex released their Moment receiver and canal hearing aids just over two years ago now. And at the time I took a trip to their headquarters in Denmark to see just what all the fuss was about. With the work that I do both in clinic and online, I do a fair few visits to the hearing aid manufacturers to ensure that I have as much information as possible to share with you guys at home. And it's safe to say that when the Widex moment was released, I have never seen a bunch of people so excited about a new hearing aid. Now, fast forward two years, and for the last few weeks, I have been stalked online with this teaser advert, which when clicked, it took me through to a launch video for the Widex Shear from Soren Nielsen. It didn't really give too much away, just promising pure and natural sound and improvements in difficult listening situations. So what exactly is the Widex Shear all about? In typical Widex fashion, the team seem to be very excited again about this brand new product and are boasting that they have united their entire flagship range of products under one refined design philosophy. Yet, after researching and then researching a little bit more, I found it really difficult on this occasion to find out exactly what the Widex shear was all about. I even took it upon myself to take a look on Dr. Cliff's channel and still nothing. And then I finally cracked it. I will call this mini launch of new tech less of a launch and more of a, let's say, gentle introduction to some tweaks of the Widex Moment family, of which I could count six in total, which I'll share with you now. Firstly, they're bringing out the new S receiver and canal hearing aid known as their Moment S Rig. Now, you may be thinking, Matthew, what are you talking about? This is clearly a brand new hearing aid, and you just told us that there was no new technology. Well, Yes and no. This hearing aid will take over from the Widex MRIC that's been around for about two years now. And as far as the insides of this hearing aid go, it's the same Widex moment that you're used to. With rechargeability, pure sound technology, direct streaming from iOS and Android devices, integrated AI, etc., etc. So as far as I'm aware, there's no significant change when it comes to performance. However, there are some physical changes with this hearing aid. They redesigned the casing with the main design change coming down to the microphone ports, of which Widex are boasting that this creates a sound like no other hearing aid with an extra cushioning underneath the microphone grid. They haven't really expanded on how this has an impact on the sound. And to be honest, I would be really keen to know. So if there's anyone out there from Widex watching this video, please reach out in the comments and fill in some of the gaps for us. Widex's second development today is the charger for these new hearing aids. So along with the new Widex Moment SRIC is the new SRIC charger. They've improved it by removing the lid, which is a welcome change as I didn't really see the point of that in the previous charger anyway. And they've also added a stainless steel trim plus made it a little bit weightier, which gives it more of a solid quality feel than that of the previous charger. Now heading over to their app, Widex were the first to integrate artificial intelligence in their hearing aids a few generations of technology ago. Similarly to Signia, Widex involve you, the hearing aid user, in a process of defining the best hearing aid settings specifically for you. With MySound 2.0, you are presented with two alternative settings for your hearing aids, and very simply, you have to choose between which is the most appropriate for you in that particular environment. Over time, this evolution of the settings teaches the hearing aids to automatically adjust to your preferences when you're in similar environments going forwards. Widex are now boasting that these A to B comparisons have been updated to include compression preferences as well, which results in over 10 times more comparisons than the original MySound in the previous version of this technology. Okay, so Widex Shear update number four is that they've redesigned the TV Play, which is their TV streamer, which when plugs into the TV, streams the sound directly to both of your hearing aids. As far as I'm aware, there's no development in terms of the quality of sound, so there's not really much more to say on that. Now, it might feel a little bit like I'm clutching at straws here, but there are some more interesting things coming up, so just bear with me a second. 
The penultimate improvement is that Widex have released three new styles of ear tip for the end of your hearing aids. The open round dome, sleeve power and sleeve vented. Now, to give you a little history of fitting Widex hearing aids, I'm normally quite selective about the patients that I'll fit with them. The reason why, I personally find that they're a little bit more prone to feedback than other hearing aid manufacturers. Of course, I have raised this with Widex over the years, and they claim that it's because if a stronger feedback management system is introduced, then it would compromise the natural quality of the sound that these hearing aids produce. Whilst I do respect and understand the theory behind that, it does limit those that I can fit with the Widex hearing aids. So it's music to my ears that Widex have developed these tips with varied amounts of venting on them to create different levels of seal, and fingers crossed should help with controlling feedback. So I'm hoping that with these new generic tips, I can open up my criteria and fit more patients with Widex hearing aids. These new tips should also work across the Widex receiver and canal range, so not just with these new SRICs. And the final addition to this expansion of the Widex family is their new Sound Relax feature. These are sounds that appear alongside Widex's Zen settings and include eight new sounds utilizing Widex's fractal tones, which are a form of tinnitus sound enrichment therapy, which is very unique to Widex. If you want to know more about Widex fractal tones, check out this video in which I cover them in great depth and play sound samples so you can hear exactly how they sound. With Sound Relax, Widex are hoping to expand the use of this feature from the Zen tones being mainly aimed at those with tinnitus to these new Sound Relax fractal tones being used by everybody with a Widex hearing aid, with the aim to create peace and harmony. The new sounds include relaxing tones and nature sounds and are designed to provide relaxation and provide acoustic stimulation simultaneously. Listening to them, they're a little softer than the existing Zen tones and provide an improved synchronization between your ears compared to their old Widex Zen tones. So I hope that I've managed to shed some light on the new Widex moment shear developments. If I'm 100% honest, I was hoping for something huge and revolutionary in terms of an update to compete with the new hearing aids that we've seen with Widex's competitors of late. However, there's no sign of that just yet. I'm really keen on knowing what you guys watching this think about the update, so drop me the thoughts in your comments beneath this video. If you like this video, then go ahead and click like. If you have any questions or comments, then please drop them in the comments beneath this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. I'll see you in the next video.